part of who I am is Celtic, and but part of who I am is also Native American. My grandmother, um, on my dad's side, my, my dad's mom, she, the one that just pa just passed away, um, she was one of these women that inspired you to be better. And you just kind of looked at her, she's a Southern Belle, you know. South Carolina had that beautiful accent. Rebecca, you know you need to, you need to not do that. And she would like roll, roll her eyes and you'd do something that wasn't extremely ladylike and <laughs> it was really funny. But she was the most beautiful woman inside. And uh, she was the daughter of a Cherokee dad and a, uh, and a high society North Carolina woman. And when they got married, and they, North Carolina, they, they said that she was ruined. And uh, which means that her kids were tainted, which means I'm tainted, which I have zero problem with. Because <laughs> um, it just makes me a beautiful mutt. But she would not tell us the story. We didn't even know the story of her because she got adopted because her mother died about no, three hours after she was born. And the dad gave away all five kids because, well, he was a native boy who couldn't get, couldn't get work. So all her kids were adopted out to family members on her mother's side. And um, except for one, which was her sister, who she was putting in a girl's home and ended up running away and literally moving to a reservation and marrying a native boy. So there you go. Sometimes, you know, you can't get away from things. I'm just saying. Um, but it was literally about 10 years ago that she told us the story. We didn't even know. We had no idea. We're like, she's like, well, you just don't talk about these things. I'm like, Grandma, you talk about these things. You should talk about them. Um, and so it's amazing the, uh, you always feel sometimes as if there's parts of you you don't know and are missing. And I, I felt like that my whole life. And uh, I got to this place in life where I was like, okay, this is weird. I feel this missing piece, and I've always been drawn to the Native American culture and 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 different things, and you know, and this is how it is, and <laughs> and then to find out that that is actually part of my culture. It's just it was the dirty little secret. Is what it was, which by the way shouldn't have been. And so, when she passed away, I thought it's time for this to no longer be a dirty little secret. It's time for this to be a part of the identity of what I am and part of the identity of what my family is and what my children are and what, what their children will be and, and so on and so forth. And so I started looking up different things about the Cherokee, you know, all these different, you know, what is the heritage? Blah, blah, blah. And I found this beautiful little uh, lullaby and then I found this amazing poem. And I thought, I'm gonna write me a song because that's what I do, <laughs> right? So I will freely admit that the first part of this is the little lullaby and I did not write this. But it is part of my heart because it is part of who I am. Because it is part of my beautiful little secret. Amen. <laughs> Change me in your power, the land 